students. Yes. Who's that? Uh, afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm Fidelis. I'm speaking on behalf of uh, uh, Femi. The first author is concluding his study right now. On, uh, he's a structural engineer, and he decided to look at the problem that he's been facing in his uh, professional life. Um, the study, as indicated, is uh, mapping waste in the structural design process using South African uh, examples. I'm going to skip this one so that uh, I will not spend much, I will not exceed my 10 minutes. Um, we all know what waste is. We've been hearing different stories about waste, different form of waste. Uh, this study is really focused on the design aspect. And I think uh, we all agree that most of the issues we encounter on, on, on site can actually be solved at the design stage when a project is started off. Um, Femi decided after uh, some, uh, researching the literature to use VSM. I must quickly put it out there. I'm not an expert in VSM, but I will try to answer some questions. Um, so to remedy the, the, the particular problem I was looking at, he wanted to map uh, the structural design process. He decided to look at VSM, and this particular paper is based on uh, the current state, that means the status quo that he discovered. In brief, for few of us, I, I think it must be minority, that doesn't know what VSM is. It's a type of flow chart that uses symbol. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a lean uh, two that has been in use for, for some time right now. And you need an expert if you are going to implement it. You need someone that will champion the process in order to identify the different ways that you, will be, you encounter in the process. You can end up map either inventory or information in the, in the process. So we, we uh, two years ago, he discovered that uh, waste in the actual process has been really looked at, but in the structural design that he really did this with, uh, there's no much paper that uh, has been written on that. So he, he decided to say the aim of his study is to identify the various ways that are significant uh, in the structural design process. So he did uh, action research, which is quite commendable for the kind of place we are coming from. We don't do action research, we do a lot of survey opinion survey. So in, in his actual research, he decided to use consulting engineers, which are the, the guys directly involved in structural design process after the architect have finished their work. And um, all the participants were members of consulting engineers South Africa. Um, he, he approached, I think, about nine to ten firms. Eventually, it was five uh, companies that agreed to work with him for, for two years. And um, in each company, he had to uh, engage with five, five uh, personnel. And I think there were initially seven that agreed, but because uh, of a change of jobs, we have to drop two other companies that were not coming on board as he goes for different round of focus group sessions with, 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 the, with the companies. And uh, when we finished, he had to conduct a, a when he finished a, a form of a, survey to check if the findings, the perceptions that he uncovered were, were, were a bit authentic and acceptable to the community. So the focus group were used to understand the current state of the flow of activities in the inception phase or in a structural design process, the pre-design phase, and of course the detailed design phase. In the paper, the explanation of the Kaizen bust, which details the different symbols in the in the diagram that will follow shortly, uh, is there in the paper. Uh, the waste, there are quite a number of waste that he uncovered. One of them is uh, waiting and attending meetings, uh, not non stop. And of course, there are a lot of uh, disagreement between what the architect is trying to say and what can really be done um, or be built 
on site and of course there were delays in the establishment and of course uh, of the required building codes and of course because it's structural design you really have to be careful if you are if we are mindful of recent building collapse that we have experienced in south africa so it, it, these are very very important issues and most of the drawings supplied by the architect have to go back for corrections here and there between the pre-design phase and the detailed design phase. This, those are the main issues. And there are main steps that cannot be jumped, which is the next table. Uh, uh, in the structural design process, there are some meetings that statutory that they have to, to attend. And some of those meetings is more like you are doing they are redundant. After the first meeting, he tried to uh, to say to amplify why some of those meetings must be reduced. Then the preliminary uh, design process. There are some activities that were taking place that should have been handled when they were starting the project with the architect. So I'm not going to. Uh, the main thing from the next two diagrams, which I'm going to read now from my iPad is that there are some activities that has to be reduced and there are some that has to be moved totally from the process in order to make it more, more efficient. Here he says, uh, we, we have to reduce identified waste in, in the process and some of the waste that has to be uh, reduced include the, the ability to detect and rectify most of the problems uh, encountered in the social design phase and to come up with some strategy. For example, delay to the establishment of contract agreement between the client and the, now he's talking most of the project, all, all, all the projects were traditional, conventional uh, project delivery method. So delaying the establishment of the, the contract between the client and the structural design team is a problem. Excessive, excessive waiting for amendment sign off from the, the client agent is also a problem, something that has to be to be addressed. Then, yeah, he said, uh, 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 activities such as uh, necessary regulatory requirement and bidding code and their incorporation at the early stage has to be done. They shouldn't wait for the structural design stage. And of course, lateness to define the services required from the engineers is equally a, a, a big problem because it leads to incessant uh, rework. Then there's something that we picked up, which I think it, it will follow up. Uh, it, it, there are some vague assumptions, especially when they are doing uh, uh, geotechnical investigations, which the chief engineer will not pick up. It will require them to go back to, to, to site to, to verify that those informations are, are correct because of the building integrity. So in concluding, he discovered that there are a lot of waste in the in the structural design process. It's not just in the architectural design process, uh, and by the application of the value stream mapping, even though I must say he's still not an expert, he has only stayed with the process for two years. Uh, he's been able to identify uh, waste such as waiting and excessive meeting and rework that has to be removed, and he's been able to identify the uh, the fact that some activities should not wait until it gets to the structural design stage before they are uh, giving more attention. I think that is the core of my story. Thank you very much. Yes, graveyard.